your partner will seek for an affair, emotional affair, as well, if they don't get it at home. Have you been asking questions? Why is my partner having an emotional affair? Have you been blaming them and calling them all sorts of names? You are frustrated, you're tired, and you don't even know where to turn. You feel defeated because they share their hearts with another person. There is a huge amount of turbulence that comes with infidelity. So stop for a moment. You are not alone. Make sure you watch this video to the end. I'll be telling you why your partner has been having an emotional affair, what you've done wrong, why they must have been doing that, and how to fix it. Hello, my name is Omotilewa Odeyemi, and today we'll be discussing six reasons why your partner is having an emotional affair. If this is your first time of Coming across my channel, you're welcome to this channel. This is a place where we discuss relationship, we discuss marriage, we discuss life issues in general. And for my old subscribers, thank you so much for always watching my video, for the support, for the encouragement, and for the comments all the time. I did not take any of this for granted. I am grateful. Thank you so much for always watching. And if you have not subscribed, please do well to subscribe to my channel. I'm Make sure that you watch this video to the end because you're going to be learning a lot of things. We're going to be discussing our uh, emotions today. What is an emotional affair? An emotional affair is a non-sexual affair, intimacy with the opposite gender, another person that is not your partner. So this is when you, you tell this person everything about you, everything about your life, everything that is going on with you, that you're supposed to be discussing with your partner. Then this person knows so much about you that you, you, you give this person your heart, your soul, your mind, your everything. Most times, this type of um, affair starts with platonic friendships. You start to find the person attractive. You find out that you share a lot of chemistry. Your personalities aligns with this person. This person have ideas that are in sync with your own. You begin to spend more time with this person. You hang out often with the person. You even discuss your relationship, your family affairs with this person. You prefer to talk to this person than your partner. Those things that are lacking in your partner, like everything just works for you. And you're like, wow, where is this person all my life? Where? As why why did I meet you all my life? Why am I just meeting you now? And then you begin to you begin to see this person as your daily life, as part of your life. You give yourself all to this 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 person. You even tell them about your marriage. Like you discuss your marriage with this person. You discuss your relationship with this person. Everything about your life they know. So. Let us go to the reasons why your partner will have an emotional affair. Your partner will seek for an affair, emotional affair, as well, if they don't get it at home. Everyone loves to be cared for. They love to be loved. They crave for intimacy, appreciation, communication, attention. They often love to be listened to. Every human loves to be listened to. And so if they don't find that, if they don't find you, it's their partner, a good listener. Like they find it difficult to discuss with you, to connect with you, to, to connect with you emotionally, like have a sync and heart to heart sync with you. When you have conversations, that is when you decide to bring out your phone to chat or to have discussions on phone. So another point is loneliness. When your partner is lonely, when they take decisions alone, you don't care about the affairs of the home. You bring money, but you don't care. Like you, you, you don't contribute. They are so lonely in the marriage. They are so lonely in the relationship. For the women, they take care of the children all by themselves. Like the, the affairs of the home is run by them. You don't even want to know how the home is run in the first place. They know their children's school. Some men don't even know. They've never dropped their children off at school. They've never picked them from school. 
you don't even know how the home is being run. The woman is lonely. Like she, she, she takes all decisions all by herself. As long as you bring money home, you just assume that um, I don't have anything to to contribute. At least, after all, I bring the money. I bring finances. I bring this. And sometimes you don't even bring the finances. They do everything all by themselves. They feel lonely. The home is empty. You come in so late in the night. Then you leave very early in the morning. There's even barely time for both of you to have an heart-to-heart conversations. And on days when you are even off from work, that is when you know you want to visit friends, you want to go to this place, you want to go to that place. Instead of you to stay with your wife and family, to have a hard to have conversations with your wife, to discuss with your wife and and enjoy your marriage. But instead, that is when you find um you, you find the time to go and do other things other than sticking with your wife, staying with your children, having conversations with them. They feel lonely. So this makes her find solace in another person and the person gets interested and help her take decisions that you are supposed to take together with her you avoid conversations now when there's an issue in the home there's problem you people have an obvious issues and then let us sit down and talk about it no you don't want to talk about it you just want it to be left unresolved a lot of matters are left hanging unresolved and she has spoken to you like several times let us talk about this matter let us discuss this matter let us discuss this issue let us talk about it but you are you you're not interested you are so adamant like i don't want to talk about it a lot of matters are left hanging without proper apology and without proper examination and proper discussion opening up to each other no, a lot of that are missing. She will look for somebody that has a time, somebody that is interested. There's a hawk outside waiting to take your wife from you. The another one is boredom. Some people get bored very easily. They could just be bored with the partner. I have heard people tell me that. Um, um, Lewa, I am bored with my partner we've been together for five years we've been together for six years we've been together for 10 years and i just i'm just tired i get bored with them so with this like they they see you every day they see you regularly they are so used to you they're so used to the same thing maybe the same perfume the same look the same way every day like they are not prepared for it mentally before they get into the marriage that See, I'm going to have seen this person all through my life. So sometimes, most of these people get bored. Then they decide to go out and look for something fresh, a new fresh thing, somebody to tell them, somebody to tell them sweet things to their ears. They get tired of one particular thing. People like that, that get tired easily. Hmm. In when they eventually get married, it is going to be an issue for them. They are going to face a lot of issue concentrating and remaining with one partner for a very long time. So if you are in that position and you, it is making you to find um, emotional connection with another person elsewhere, let me tell you what to do. If you are in this situation, you get bored with your partner. Now, encourage your partner to do something new for you. What would you like that person to change? Like, okay, not change personality but maybe um would you like them to change their perfume you know their smell would you like them to change um maybe a um, costume or go out or you could even travel for a while then when you come back you can even feel refreshed after you go on a trip maybe um you travel or um your partner travels or she travels then by the time you come back there's this refresh that comes in your home you could even change environments you could leave um, um your place maybe you and get a new apartment so sometimes these things could also help to um change your marriage and stop the boredom from the marriage self-validation sometimes your partner wants want to be validated they want to boost their self-esteem especially if you have a partner that have a low self-esteem 
So, and especially even you yourself, if you are a person that have a low self-esteem, you constantly need somebody to validate your self-esteem. They want compliments and attention from somebody that is not their partner. Your partner just wants to be praised. They want you to tell them um, thank you. So probably you are that type of partner that is used to, oh, okay, your husband buys you new things. And then he bought, he has gone over and about to get you this thing. And instead of you to be so excited to say, oh, thank you. You just see it as a regular thing, as a normal thing. You know, for you as a man. Sometimes you don't see a reason to tell your wife over and over again that, oh, baby, you're beautiful. But women love it when you keep telling them you're beautiful hundred times. When she makes her hair, tell her she's beautiful, pretty, she's this, she's that. And if they don't get this thing almost all the time, it gets tiring, it gets bored. Sometimes you are, you are filled with so much to do. You have so much on your, on your mind to do. And like, but for women, they want you to compliment them. Even for a man, men love compliments. They like it when they do things. I, 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 I've, I've heard a situation where women, married women, like your husband, as little as even paying the fees of your children, fine. You might say it is a responsibility. What happens to, thank you for doing this, my husband. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for providing for the home. And for the men, Thank you for giving me food. You told her thank you for the meal in the morning. And at night, you don't see a reason to say thank you for the meal because like I keep saying this all the time. So some of these things are things that could also make your partner feel like they're not appreciated enough. And then when she now finds somebody like um, um, a partner outside or when he finds a partner outside and this person does this all the time. See, let me tell you, married women, a lot of side chicks, they can tell their this man thank you one million times. They do most of these things and makes them makes them want to stay out almost all the time. So it costs you nothing to tell your partner thank you over and over again. Appreciate them for the little they've done. For appreciate them even for eating your food. Thank you for eating my food and telling me thank you for eating my food. You know, as little as that, it helps the marriage. It's lack of physical intimacy so like um you wake up in the morning no good morning kisses no kisses here and there pegs and all that you don't do all of that especially when you are married as a woman then you just lose yourself and you just you you there's no that attraction you you feel you don't even want them to touch you some men too don't even want you to touch them they just every little thing like just leave me i like stay on your own i leave me alone so most of these things could also make your partner lose attention lose the attraction they have for you so physical intimacy is very important probably you used to hang out go on vacations together and now you don't even do that together anymore. Both of you gist. In fact, your gossip partner, like you gossip together, you used to gossip together, you used to gist together, you used to say so much to yourselves together. And you don't do that anymore. Vulnerability. So when you don't feel vulnerable with yourself, you need to be vulnerable with your partner. Like this is this is your self zone. Your, your partner, your spouse is your safe zone. You should be comfortable enough to come home and be vulnerable around them. Cry when you want to cry. Laugh when you, when you want to cry. And then they decide to go and get it elsewhere from another person. And so probably that person appreciates them a lot. A lot. The person talks to them. The person give, gives them the attention that is lacking from home. The attention that you are not giving to them in the house. So in my conclusion... Look at those things that is lacking. Most of these things that I've listed, sit down, think about it. Like, what is it that is lacking? What have I don't, don't blame them alone. Also look inward and look at yourself. And what is lacking? What have I done wrong? Is there something where, where, where I have I've gotten it wrong? Then work on it. It is not too late to get it all done and come back and, and, Get your partner back and get your home running as usual. It is not too late to do that. So grab yourself together. 
work on your mistakes and errors we are all bound we are humans we are all bound to make mistakes and errors we we are all bound to do most of all these things think about it ruminate around it like okay what should i do better what have i been doing wrong what should i now start doing better to make my marriage work and to have a better and a good marriage thank you for listening to me today once again as usual if you have not subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe to my channel i believe if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel drop your comments in the comment section i'll drop my email in the description box if you want to send me an email you want to talk further on any topic or you want me to talk on any topic of interest to you please do well to drop your details in the um in the comment section i'll be there to listen or send me an email if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with me and i'll see you in my next video bye for now